What's up everybody, this is Cheese Mr. Poof and I welcome you back to the hot side of Friday, your weekly dosage of Hearthstone content on the Cheese Mr. Poof channel. Now, I've missed a few days, actually missed two hot side Fridays, two weeks, right at the start of 2017, which is kind of lame to be, to be honest with you, but hey, I'm back now and I'm going to be playing some fun decks. Um... I haven't gone on like a huge brewing spree, but I got some nice little um, decks that I really think might work. I mean, I have some basic ones like an aggro shaman with a twist. Uh, well, that's not basic at all. Uh, Cabal Maniacs, you know, it's just a Reno deck in the Cabal flavors. But then we also have some more interesting decks like Nazoth and the Goons. We got, well, that's not so interesting. We got Hellfire Club, which is also pretty basic. We also have Controlly Shaman, which is pretty cool. Fatigue Gangster, that's actually a fun deck. Haven't gotten to uh, rise to the occasion of fatigue with that so much, but hey. And then this is probably a deck the deck that I really want to play. So we're gonna play that today. It's the Finja Art Flying Star. Now as the name suggests, we're going to be playing Finja. And Finja is the Flying Star, who is also a 2 4 for 5 with stealth. Whenever this attacks and kills a minion, summon two murlocs from your deck. So it's a Murloc Paladin. Now let's see some of the new things. Now this is not a combo deck. We're running Anything Can Happen just because we want to have something to do in the late game if they destroy all our Murlocs. We just play this and hopefully we'll win the game from there. Now let's see some of the new, new cards from the new set that we're going to be playing in this deck. We have Grimscale, <laughs> Grimscale Chum. A 1 mana 2 1 with Battlecry, give a random Murloc in your hand, plus 1 plus 1. 2 1 for 1 Murloc, so it's like the best card we can play at turn 1. We also have some Grimscale Oracle for that buff. Tide Caller is also a pretty good turn 1 play, but it also is an okay thing to play with the Charm buff. We also have Wildfin Inquisitor because that's just so good. I mean, our hero power becomes Murloc. But yeah, let's just concentrate on the new cards. We're playing Smuggler's Run because giving plus one plus one to all the Murlocs in our hand seems pretty good. We also play Grime Street Outfitter for the same effect, but on a minion. And then we have some basic Murlocs here. Then we have Small Time Recruits, draw three one cost minions from your deck. So that can draw us Grimscale Chum, uh, Grimscale Oracle, Murloc Tide Caller. And Vilepin Inquisitor, so that's a pretty good chance of us drawing some cards with small time recruits. We also run Sword of Justice for that buff. Murloc Knight, Murlocs, Murlocs, Murlocs. Finja, as I said before. Grime Street Enforcer, because of the buff theme. And we have Corrupted Seer, because um, remove threats except for Murlocs. And anything can happen. So, yeah, that's the deck. And we're just gonna take that to the rank ladder and see how well it fares. Now, I know there's a lot of... There we go, that's the deck. Ranked. Rank 17. Now, I know there's a lot of aggro decks. Yes, it's not a surprise. <laughs> but, hopefully, this deck will remove some minions, get some murlocs from our deck, and... Uh, Buff them to all high hell. I mean, I have some screenshots. I have some screenshots of me kicking ass with the Finja flying art combo. Oh my god, we're up against an actual Murloc. Okay, so seeing as... Okay, man, this is a bit awkward. So we throw away these Keep the Graham Street Outfitter... This is a bit awkward of a start, but hey, if we're just gonna buff cards in our hand, this might work out. Well met. Well met. Should we or should we not? 
If it's going to be real aggressive, I want to have a 2-2, two, two, probably... I mean, sure. I'm not sure if this is the right play, because usually I want more value than just 3 minions. But it could have been worse, okay. So now we just play Outfitter. As you can see, we already have a 4-5 that deals damage, we have a 4-6 with stealth, and a 2-4 that makes our hero power become Murloc related. So next turn we drop the Vilefin and get us a Murloc. This is what we definitely don't want to see. Um, but yeah. Let's get the Murlocs out there. Next turn we might drop War Leader. Just because then we'll have some good board presence. What are you coining for three mana? Feral Spirits. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Sure. Then he trades with the war leader, but that's probably all he can do. Oh, he's gonna bolt. He's overloading, so that's fine, and we trade. And I feel like it's safe to play Finja. Yeah. Finja Art Murloc Jutsu. Okay, now, now he's afraid. He's not gonna play minions because he knows this is gonna... Jade Spirit. That's interesting. But yeah, I feel like... This is the moment... We get the Finja... Going. Are you ready for it? Finja Art! Get Murlocs Jutsu! Those are not the best Murlocs I could have gotten, but anyway, let's get more Murlocs. See, that's pretty good. I mean, he can Lightning Storm my whole board, which is not so good. Jade Claws, okay, that doesn't kill my whole board. Manatad Totem, that doesn't kill my whole board. And... If he... what? He's gonna go there? Oh, he's actually... Yeah, he's planning for the whole... Yep, uh, he's going to do that. Okay, let's remove some guys. So, do we want to get some free murlocs off this? Hopefully I don't want to take too many murlocs from my... But this value is so cool. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Let's go. Finja art. Murloc Jutsu. Not the best, but not the worst. And we should draw some cards. Draw three for three seems pretty good. Yep, let's just go face. So I'm predicting a lightning storm of some kind. But as you can see, our hand is pretty full of murlocs, so we can probably just get back in the game even if he clears the board. Hex? No heck, please. No heck. Yep, there's the lightning storm, but he can't do anything else and he's overloading himself. Oh yeah, and we draw the nuts. Okay, so... First, let's do this correctly, right? Right? Uh, first we play tight Caller. Chum. Mm, do we play this? Because we can't get Inspire right away. Let's draw. 
Okay, that was my phone. Energy is full. And let's get a hero power. See, we built the board back up, and even if he wipes it again, we can still build it back up. Okay, lightning bolt on the 5-3, that's fine. That's okay. That's not as okay. That I can deal with. I feel like this is the moment we actually drop that Corrupted Seer. And we can drop it with the Sword of Justice, so that's actually gonna be quite okay. Merry Christmas! But yeah, we're gonna have to sacrifice this little guy. Face and pass. See, we're actually keeping the aggro deck. Okay, seven mana for some dudes, sure, I guess. Let's get some more guys out there. Okay, this is gonna make some Murlocs. That's incredible! And let's give them some help. Let's take care of that guy. And pass. Now wiping this board will be a bit awkward, even for you, Mr. Shaman Man. Oh, he's looking for that spell damage. And he doesn't find it! But yeah, he's probably gonna... Oh. Yep! <laughs> we got it! <laughs> got him! <laughs> yep. That is the power... ...of... ...the Flying Star. Oh yeah. And this deck feels good to play because it's friggin' Murlocs, and you don't see those in the ranked ladder a lot. And, and, and like, the Finja attack, get some minions out there. I mean, you can get, like, battle cry minions that you definitely don't want pulled out of your deck without the battle cry effect. But you can also get war leaders and, uh, rim scale oracles and stuff like that. <coughs> okay. Well, this is obviously going to be none of that. We're not having any of that. Oh, this is slightly better, but not the best. And if it's a Jade Golem deck, which I presume it is, this is going to be a tough one to beat. It's going to be a tough one to beat. Yep, sure. Gad Gazan. He's gonna kill that. And there's the wild growth. <coughs> Didn't see that one coming. Uh, we'll just play this. And uh, keep going face. Now, he has the best play where he swipes here and wipes my whole board, but then we play Murloc Knight and he's gonna swipe that. And, uh, I mean, he's not gonna get to do golem stuff. Oh, he just. He's just going to ignore that board. I mean, fine. Sure. I mean, he forces me to deal with all this. You just gesture to all of me. Um, let's actually do this. Makes the swiping a tad bit more awkward. Okay, let's see. Can I even make the swiping a bit more awkward? Um, I hit here Let and here. Think. So pow, pow, pow. The battle. 
See, now if he swipes this, he kills only this. I keep playing around swipe, but he's not playing the swipe. What are you doing, druid? So this is something I'm playing next turn. <laughs> Regardless of whatever he's going to be doing. What to do? I wonder if he's gonna remove something. One mana though, he can only remove this or this. Unless he's playing a naturalize, which would be like the weirdest shit I've seen all day. <laughs> Come on. You keep hovering. Are you trying to be M me? By the holy light. I'm not sure if BM. No Maybe he's a phone user and he just crashed. He's gonna play it right here. He's gonna play it here. He's gonna play the card when when it's roping here. He's BMing me. He, oh yeah, he's BMing. Yeah. The manor is on this jack. Wow. You gotta pay up. You gotta pay up, son. I'm giving him a dream swipe, but then he only has two mana left to do with and I'm gonna keep buffing my minions in the hand. Yep, there's the swipe. The sweepity swipe. But hey, as long as he doesn't play golems and his hand size is three cards, I am technically okay. You gotta pay up. I could have played this, but I'm choosing not to. Gonna save it. We could get a double Murloc Knight trigger later on. Oh shit, that's gonna be awful, isn't it? Technically pretty fucking awful for me. That's so disgusting. At least we can kill the Stag Helm, but... Still pretty disgusting, if you ask me. Accidents. Should we play the weaker one, or the stronger one? I feel like against this deck, we probably want to assert dominance early on, so... Let's play that guy. <laughs> and this guy's pretty good, because he keeps buffing my dudes and he has to deal with it. That's pretty scary. Okay. He's running the nuts. Ugh. If we hit there, if we have to. And then... I mean, we can't play two hero powers. Hmm. But we can get Murlocs. And I feel like that's what we want to do. Finja? We got Finja, ladies and gentlemen, and he can't wipe the board. Because druids don't have board wipes. Yep, he's gonna have to deal with it. He's gonna have to deal with it. That's pretty scary, but we got Finja, so I'm not super scared. I'm a bit scared. Whenever this attacks and kills a minion, summon two Morlocks from... Now, if this one dies during that trade-off there, do I still get the minion? I'm gonna keep it stealth for now, actually.
Welcome to the jungle. Actually, do I have lethal? Uh, yup. Oh wait, no, I'm one off. I'm one off. You know what? Fuck it. I'm keeping it stealth. He can't deal with this. Can yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> Murloc Paladin new meta. Murloc Paladin new meta. You saw it here, ladies and gentlemen. Total and utter dominance. Over. So, let's recap what we did this episode. Um, we played a Murloc deck. A hand buffing Murloc deck. And, um, what did we do? Uh, first, we defeated an aggro shaman. It might have been mid range because I saw that genie water speaker. Yeah, we defeated the shaman. Might have been a Jade Shaman too. Yeah, we defeated that. Then we went up, up against a Jade Golem Druid. And we forced him to trade with his big golems into our Murlocs. And we defeated him. We almost had it. We got him down to almost one. I mean, we got, we got him down to six. Could have gotten him, him down to one. But we left the Finja there stealthed. But we defeated two pretty much top tier decks with this thing. That feels pretty good. But yeah, we're gonna wrap up this this episode of Hot Side Friday right now. I'm Cheesy Mr. Poof and I hope you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed this content make sure to give the video a like, drop a comment down what you think of the deck and any other thing really. And uh, yeah, Give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you like the content. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.